An entertaining night of hoops here on TNT as we come to you live from Studio J in Atlanta. I got 1248 Chuckster. Kenny, 115. 1248. 115. 115. What about 105? <laughs> 115. There's no way we'll get through everything. Anyway, I'm Ernie. That's Shaq. That's the Jet. And that's Chuckster. And here we go. Uh, we begin tonight with the 300th regular season meeting between the Lakers and Celtics. Boston, the only team with a winning record all time against LA and the C's figured to add to their win total Thursday night. The Lakers would take the parquet without LeBron James and Anthony Davis facing a Boston team 22 and 2 at home. But things don't always happen the way you think they're going to happen. Well, it's going to blow them out by yeah. 30. Anthony Davis, an all-star reserve. Jalen Brown, an all-star reserve. And Brown had Tough shooting night, just four out of 12 for eight points. He scores there. And then the story of the night was this cat, Austin Get Reeves, that. for three. $50 million man. Boy, Boston turned the ball over nine times in the first oh, got him. quarter. Oh, that's a tough shot. That's look, a lot of turnovers. Like Pistol man. Pete that's there. one of their weaknesses, Ernest. Shot selection and turnovers. Drew Holiday stepping back. He was a little more, more offensively aggressive tonight, Joe. Yeah, eight, yeah, aggressive, but only, only eight points, yeah. seven rebounds, seven assists. Meantime, the Lakers got a new name. Five, right five and make that eight. Got a new name for Ronnie, Pistol Reeves. Pistol Reeves, okay. You like that one, Kenny? Pistol Reeves? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Pistol may be a little early for the Pistol. A lot early. I tell you what, hey, you All know, right. people at home, if you disrespect the other team, this is what can happen. everybody got good players in the NBA. You just Jason can't Tatum. You got to respect the game, brothers. Got to respect the game. And Tatum again, this time with the step back and drains the three. They were down 16. Now they're down six. They're right back in it. But watch Reeves. Come, Come on, on that, Now that's just luck right there. <coughs> that's to Pete Marievich. <laughs> Marievich? Yeah, Marievich. Chris stops Porzingis, a three of his own. Played a little too much outside tonight, Shaq. Yeah. Rui Hachimura connects from deep. And then oh. swing it to D'Angelo Russell for three. The Lakers, 19 out of 36, 53% from deep in this one. And they are now 20 and one when they take a lead to the fourth quarter. They, uh, they win at TD Garden, 114 to 105 behind the 32 from Reeves, 16 and 10 from Jackson Hayes, 16 and 14 assists from D'Angelo Russell. You know, Jared Greenberg was was working that game. Let's hear from him. Austin, without LeBron James, Anthony Davis on the road against the best team in the NBA, how do you explain what just happened tonight? It's just a lot of heart. Uh, you know, we come together as a group before, and we was just like, look. You know, our two best players aren't playing. The, the least we can do is go compete, and that's what we did. What do you take from this that you can apply moving forward? Just playing the game the right way and competing at 110%. You know, we've proven that we can beat anybody. We just got to eliminate those games where we go out and just, you know, kind of, you know, go through the motions. We got to go out there and compete 110% every game, and uh, good things will happen. It's just a bad week at work. You know, everybody here got a job. You know, nobody has great days every day. And, you know, us, we're no different. This is our job. Um, we would love to be perfect. We would love to win every game and make every shot, but um, it's just not the case. Do you also categorize it to them as, the, like, you should be embarrassed by this? Do you have them sit with that, or, or like, how I think, do you approach I think that telling way? another human they should be embarrassed is uh, very disrespectful. There's accountability. Look, we're not playing well. And to me, I'm not, you can't run from that. We should all know that we, we, we did not play well tonight. You know what I mean? Like, that's a fact. Your reaction to what Joe Mazzulla just said? I did. Well, you know, we live in different times, but I, I disagree with that. Because when you're built for a championship and you're playing like you want to win the championship, everything has to fall in place. Me and Chuck argue about this all the time. Can't turn that switch on. And it's better to not have the switch down to where you have to come back up. Always have to switch up. <clears throat> Every now and then, certain circumstances, the switch can go down. You can switch it back up. But they're supposed to blow this team out. You ever had a coach tell you you should oh, be yeah. embarrassed? Oh, all the time. Uh, Phil Jackson and, <coughs> and Dale Brown and Coach Dave Medora. 
all the time. And, you know, back in my era, that, 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 that was used as, you know, motivation. Yes, it's very disrespectful as a human, but, you know, sometimes, you know, the truth hurts. And, you know, I'm going to just blame it on one of those games, but Chuck said it. Can't disrespect your opponent. The Lakers look really good because, you know, most of the time with LeBron and AD, you got two guys handling the ball. The highlights you showed, everybody was touching the ball. When you're an NBA player and you get the opportunity to touch the ball, you play at a high level. So they came out smoking. Boston never reacted, so they just kept playing. You let a guy like Reeves get into a rhythm, he can kill you. Yeah, but, it goes back-to-back -back season highs. But the Celtics should, be, Celtics should be embarrassed. You should never lose to this team without yes. LeBron and AD. Yeah, I, so maybe I, it's I, something you don't need to say, but that's yeah, something you that say, they will feel. No, no, you need to say it, Ernie. Uh, you, have to, you have to – I told you I'm really – concerned about the Celtics. Not just tonight. This is three games in a row. They were 20 and 0 at home. They've lost three in a row at home. No, but they're 22 and 2. Yeah. Well, they've lost they've lost three games yeah. in a row. Three out of five. Three out of three five. Out of last to five. the best team. This team is not a good one. But the teams that they're going to play if they get to the finals, in my opinion, you, you have to be ready for those games. Like, Shaq and Kenny know this. Every game's not the same. You're like, oh, the Denver Nuggets are coming <coughs> to town. We need to send them a message. Denver came in there and beat them. Then the Clippers came in there and beat them. The two teams in the West that were like, we have to play in the finals. It tells me that they just playing on talent. They're not mentally tough enough. Like, no, nah, man, this is a big game. We need to be ready. Anytime I played against Michael, Magic, Bird, Carmelo, Patrick Ewing, it was a different game. Because it, uh, you call it ego, whatever you want to call it. But when you're on a good team and you're like, okay, we might play these guys. you got to get ready mentally. And to me, the Celtics are winning game on talent. You know what they remind me of? My Philadelphia Eagles. Hmm. Like, there's actually something just happened in the NBA. Even though Milwaukee had that second-best record, they said, we're not going to win the championship. we got to make a change. The Celtics, to me, they got a really good record, but they're not going to win the championship. But, Oof. Let, me, let me ask you this. Oof. And, and, and I'll need camera one here because – this is on December 4th, uh, what you said and what, and what we wrote down. You were convinced the Celtics will win the championships. You said that in December. And I know earlier tonight you said Tatum and Brown are great, but they're too nice. They were nice guys when you said this. Yeah, but they, they, and they're they, still nice guys, yeah, but, but they, now why can't if, they if you, win? Because if you, go, if you ask to go back and look, they showed us that they're always behind. They're always behind. But you're saying now they're not going to win the championship? I, I don't think they – Ernie, I don't like what I'm seeing. All right. I, I, I still think – first of all, there's no team in the NBA that's better than the Celtics. But you have to be mentally tough because you, like, you can't turn it on and off because you, okay. you, 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 you develop too many bad habits. Right. They're developing bad habits. You have been patiently waiting. Oh, yeah. God, you know, these, this are, so, these are so Hall of weird. Famers. These are guys who've done it at the highest level. They've led teams, not just been part of teams. So I'm, I'm listening. But there is a, a part of <clears throat> me that understands there is a level of mental exhaustion, just like his mental fortitude. So there is mental exhaustion. When you do have the best record, which they do, in the NBA, there's no other team in the NBA that has a better record than the Boston Celtics. At times, there will be a portion of that season where you have a little bit of mental exhaustion. Now, to and a me, lot of times that happens <clears throat> two weeks before the All-Star game. A, a hundred, there you go. It happened. But how it stops is a game like this. It's the wake up. It's like, yo, wait, wait, wait. We, we've hit the low. We got to, like, we've hit it. We can't talk about mental exhaustion anymore. We've got to turn it on and keep it on now. But what because, about big games, Kenny? Because big games, you think about it. The game, sometimes, even though the – this is just my opinion. Even though the Denver Nuggets are the NBA champions, the Boston Celtics is a more fair story franchise. So meaning it's a bigger game sometime for your opponent. So they play well. They're coming in going with no. the same mentality. No, no. We, Shaq, Denver Shaq, Nuggets, Shaq, Shaq, you don't you think say? Denver's going no, in there saying no, no. we got to go beat them? No. Yes. Go ahead, Shaq. Because one, they are the former chumps. And right. The, and the joke ain't no chump. Joke is a great player. So when great players going against a great player, like Chuck said. So it's not a shame to lose to them. It's not embarrassing to no, lose them. No, no, but you're not supposed to. If you have that championship mentality, I don't care who's coming out. You got to beat them and play well. You know, they they, they lost, convincingly lost. But but you it shows lose us that games. Not ready. I just feel. I, I just mean. I just feel that at certain points, 
what shows me if you're a champion is when you turn the volume off. And like, nah, we're going to kill this noise now. And this is a noise-killing game. That's what that I would say. This is the noise. Now we see where they go from here. Yeah. Kudos to the Lakers on this one. 114-105 winners over the Boston Celtics as they snap their two-game losing streak. And the Celtics yeah. have their two-game winning streak. Snap. Uh, looking like a Dixie Cup. Looking like a Dixie Cup. <laughs> That's actually kind of fly to say. your mama if she wants some water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what back on the mama say. jokes. We're back on the mama. Let's go. We back on the mama jokes. You come at us. We coming at your mama. No starting on Mobina. Coming at your mamas now. That was actually a good.